Hi, I'm Dr. Rhonda McDowell and I'm a board certified radiologist. During an MRI examination, the patient is placed in the machine. The machine is shaped like a long tube. Um, the patient's laying on a table. Depending on what type of study is being performed, the patient may have a body part put in what's called a coil, which is a smaller device that is wrapped around the knee or the head or the neck, uh, depending on, again, the body part that's being imaged. The patient is then uh, placed into the inside of the bore of the magnet. Um, during the examination, nothing will touch the patient. Nothing is moving around the patient that's visible. There will be some loud knocking as the machine is taking its pictures. Well, the equipment itself consists of a long tube, which is where the static magnet is being held, and then um, a small uh, receiver coil is placed around the knee or around the head or around the neck that is going to pick up the signal that the body emits when um, the pictures are being taken. Uh, the other part of the uh, machine is a large computer that is sort of behind the scenes where the technologist is running the machine to take the pictures and monitor the exam as it's taking place to make sure that the pictures look appropriate or that the technique is appropriate. An MRI can take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, depending on the body part that's being imaged and the detail of the sequences that are being performed. Typically, the most of MRs are take about a half an hour. The hardest part for the patient is that they have to hold still for the whole process. MRI exams are very sensitive to motion, and any motion can affect the quality of the pictures. Uh, for most body parts such as the spine and the brain, that's not usually too much of a problem. For some of the other structures in the body, such as the abdomen, when we take pictures of the abdomen, uh, we need to have the patient oftentimes hold their breath to be able to get the pictures uh, adequately visualized. Not for the whole 30 or 40 minutes, but for perhaps a few seconds at a time. Well, typically when a patient comes in for their examination, they will be greeted by the technologist who is the um, person that is trained to actually take the, the images and take the pictures. The patient may actually never see the radiologist themselves because after the technologist has taken all of their examination um, and has the examination ready for the radiologist to read, that's the point at which we see the, the exam once we have all of the images uh, taken, all the information that we need to be able to make the diagnosis and help their physician with their diagnosis. Typically, it takes uh, 24 to 48 hours for the results to come to the, the referring physician. In our practice, typically, the, if the examination is done um, in the morning of one day, it will be usually read by the same day. Um, that's with the exception that there are sometimes special tests that uh, special radiologists that are specially trained, such as uh, neuroradiology or musculoskeletal imaging. Um, we have those specialists in our practice, and uh, some of the exams will Will be held out until that person is available to read that or that doctor is, is available to read it.